Well, this is, this is the neighborhood that actually inspired me when I wrote uh, Civil Twilight. Mm -hmm. I had no idea where I was going when I started writing it. I was basically uh, just toying with the idea of making a little portrait for each number on the street. Um, Seven. They've grown too old to travel, but sometimes she puts on a dress and says to him, Do you remember this one from Rome, Tenerife? He puts on a cream-colored suit and goes out to the car and sits there, waiting. They drive to the airport, and he straightens up as they enter the doors. The structure sort of was one thing. Um, I think in the end what we got is something like a, um, a social novel that also has a social structure in the sense that you don't have a protagonist or you don't follow a small group of people like you often do in a social novel. Um, you have actually uh, maybe 150 protagonists or you can say that this little society is the protagonist. Of course I changed a lot. I changed the name of the street. Um, but in this neighborhood all the streets are named after famous authors. And I sort of took that idea, but I changed them. 84. He runs around the block every evening, but not if it's raining. He's 34 and a psychotherapist. He's married to a woman who's 10 years older than he and a yoga instructor. They have tantric sex a few times a week and eat biodynamic food. They rinse their noses together before bed. He knows that there are three types of twilight. He's been sitting in the yard during each type, hoping to catch a glimpse of their new neighbor. The civil twilight lasts from sundown till when the sun is six degrees below the horizon. At this point, you can still read the newspaper.